since it's five after, I guess we can get started. Good evening. Um, thanks for coming back. We have Holly Smith here tonight to give her report. As you know, every year you hear of um, us youth going to camp, we give our report and tell you all the details, but Holly's going to really give you some details about camp. She got to spend six weeks of camp plus another week, uh, or two weeks of training, correct? One week, so seven weeks in all. So she's got a lot of information to tell us about camp, so really excited to hear from her. But before she comes on up, we'll have a word of prayer, and I'll just hand it over to you, Holly. Okay, so let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful day, the rain that you gave us this morning and now the sunshine. We thank you for this place that we can come together and worship you and fellowship and just love each other. And I pray for those that are not here tonight who are unable to come, if they're sick or whatever other reasons, may you please be with them. And we ask that you please bless this time and be with Holly as she gives her report. In your name we pray. Amen. start off with a video of some pictures that I had this summer. Jesus turn us upside down. Jesus, turn our world around. Jesus, come and be the center of the revolution in our hearts. I was lost, but now I'm found. My feet stand on solid ground. I was blind, but now I see that the revolution lives in me. Turn the tables and open wide the door so all could come and worship. He would not let them be ignored. Jesus, turn us upside down. Jesus, turn our world around. Jesus, come and be the center of the revolution. Our hearts. I was lost, but now I'm found. I can stand on solid ground. I was blind, but now I see that the revolution lives in me. Christ flips my vision to see with graceful eyes. So I'll stand. were a lot of the memories that I got to share with some really awesome people this summer. Um, we got to minister to thousands of youth in the neighborhoods of Jacksonville, Florida and Danville, Virginia. We had, it was so awesome, we had the 100,000th camper for Passport at our camp. It was like he had a really awesome testimony and he gets free camp for life. It's like another three years of camp for free. Um, we worked alongside children and elderly people and people of these communities that you don't get to see and you 
really got to understand the dynamics of these cities, of the poverty and the hurt and all the things that are so wrong, but you also got to see the things that were right and the things that were changing and how the love was in these communities. Um, we got to flip our perspectives as we worked with each other and we stood and we spoke and we acted alongside of each other. Um, this was, it was a really cool summer because as a camper, I went like five or six or seven times. I, can't, I could never figure out the number. Um, but I got to see camp in a totally different way from like the behind the scenes, all the stuff that goes into camp. And it's so much stuff like that you don't see at the camper. You don't see the hours, you, a full week ahead of the first week of camp is insane. We started every morning at like seven and we'd get finished about 10 or 11 for like five or six days straight. It was a ton of work, which worked out in the end. <laughs> Um, we got, we prepared mission supplies and we prepared the worship space and Bible study classrooms and we went over so many policies and policies and policies and policies and a couple more policies after that. Um, but through training week, you learn, like I've learned how much like effort and thought goes into like the camp process and just how intentional things are. Everything that Passport does, they does they do it for a reason. There's nothing that they haven't thought of. Nothing gets by them. They know what's going to happen, and it's a really like cool thing to like just watch it get planned. And you're like, oh, this isn't how this is going to work. We're not prepared for this. And then that Sunday when campers come, everything, you've got it. Like you know your skits and you know your intros and you know your energizers. And you can do walk a walk in your sleep. <laughs> um, it was just like such a great opportunity to really understand like the love and the work of Passport itself. It's incredible just the amount of love that comes from that organization and the people in it. And I got to meet awesome people like David and Colleen Burroughs, like Passport creators, they are so awesome. Um, Colleen got to see us when we were all sick, week six. It was rough. She peeled an orange for me. I'm like, I, I'm honored. The creator of Passport peeled an orange for me. <laughs> but you just, there's just so much, especially from David and Colleen and our coordinator, Dale, that just went into this camp and like, the amount of work they did this summer to staff four different teams or five I think but several different teams and to have this awesome team dynamic because I don't know how they did it but it just it all worked you instantly became friends day one of training week and then you make lifelong friends I've made friends from all over mostly the East Coast up to Virginia and Missouri and Georgia and everywhere in between. You just make these awesome friends who are lifelong and they're so important, like the relationships you make and the connections you build. Like it's just so incredible how well it's thought out and how they know how this is gonna work out and it's just such an awesome team. Um, one of the things that I did myself my like job or I was a summer staff intern so I prepared mission supplies every day I worked alongside the missions project coordinator Anna Kate Wilson um, and we would sit in the pod which is a super long metal box that's incredibly hot in Jacksonville Florida when it's 100 degrees outside and probably like 120 inside so hot every day and we would get together rakes and brooms and hammers and paint supplies and scrapers and goggles and have the perfect amount and it's a lot of work <laughs> it's you learn about a lot about 
what goes into planning a mission site and making sure it runs smoothly and what to do when it doesn't because I promise it won't every day. <laughs> there was many trips to mission sites to bring a handful of paintbrushes or a big thing of tarps. Um, just a ton of extra work was put in that you didn't, that you don't see as a camper or a, like a chaperone. And it's like, like, oh, this is how this works. This is how they finally managed to, this is how they managed to get buckets full of supplies out to you as soon as you show up to the mission pod. Like, this is how they do that. And it was like really cool to be a part of it. I don't know, it's like, it just, it makes sense. Um, you're seriously doing like the kingdom work of God, you're the hands and the feet, and you're getting to meet all these incredible people while you do it. And that's probably the best thing about Passport is you are the hands and feet of Christ. Like you're going to do the work of God and it's incredible and you get to see these campers, these 12 years olds and these 18 year olds and they become friends and they work together. And it's just like, how awesome is that? Like, I'm getting to see like the work of God right now. I'm getting to watch this. I'm getting to be a part of it. And it's just such an awesome, awesome thing that I didn't really think I would ever experience that way. And I'm like, it's changed my heart and it's changed my view on missions and it's kind of changed what I wanted to do in life. And I'm like, that's such an awesome thing that Passport is. Um, like, Mostly, I just want to thank all of you for your prayers and your support this summer. Uh, it was a long summer, and I probably couldn't have done it without, like, the encouraging words of friends and my church family, because y'all are the reason that I got to go. Your support and your letters of recommendation, and I couldn't have went without you, and it's just so, I'm so thankful to have a family like Williams. It's a family like no other. I've never met a group of people that is like the First Baptist Church of Williams, and I will always be thankful for that. So I'm going to pray us out, and I guess we can be dismissed. All right, pray with me. Holy God, thank you so much for the family of God that is First Baptist Church of Williams. Thank you for their love and support and kindness. Thank you for the love and support of Passport and all the work that they do all over the world and all over the United States. Thank you for the family of God in McAllen, Texas, as they send love and hope to refugees and the work in Fredericksburg, Virginia, and in Miami, Florida, as they love refugees and love the people of their city. Thank you so much for sending your son to die for us and have all these opportunities to work for your glory. In your heavenly, heavenly name, amen.